and in January of 1974. What the Bruin faithful don't expect is the luck of the Irish to haunt them once again. You see, UCLA is stepping onto the same court where they had last tasted defeat in 1971. With just three minutes and 30 seconds to play and leading by 11, the Bruins seem well on their way to their 89th straight victory. Here's what happens in the final minutes of our fourth all-time game. Well, the chances of us at that point coming back were, were almost zero. Three years undefeated. He has been unbelievable. Humate with a fine move to get around Walton. Walton has three fouls, and Walton limping a bit. 70 to 61. Shoemate intercepts. He's got two more. I have not gotten over it. I will never get over it. I wake up with it every day. Take the air out of it. Oh, here's a steal. Dantley goes all the way. 70 to 65. Pandemonium now. Over Wilkes. Broke off. 70 67. And when we started to come back, we got within three. And I started smiling and said, this team is on the ropes. I mean, this team is, they had traveled. They had missed some shots that they would normally make. Um, I said, this team is choking. The Bruins lead by three. Brokaw scores! With a minute to play and up only one, Keith Wilkes is called for charging. Notre Dame has the ball and sets up for a game-winning shot. Tommy Curtis left Dwight Clay in the corner because Dwight, I think at that point, was 0 for 13. As Digger would say, 0 for life. And I was waving my hand feverishly to Gary that I was open, and, and when Brokaw passed it to me, you know, we had practiced that shot several times before, and I knew when I had it, you know, it was a good 90% chance I could make that shot. That's Clay to score! I thought we had defended uh, uh, Clay extremely well on that shot. He just hit a fine shot from out uh, on the side. John Wooden calls timeout to set up the Bruins' final shot. Here's what happens. Notre Dame 71, UCLA 70 with six seconds left. Into Walton, he can't score. Kermovich, Myers, Shumate, it's all over. Notre Dame has won the game. The number one ranked UCLA Bruins have been upset by the Irish of Notre Dame. 71-70, the longest winning streak in collegiate sports history has ended where it began three years ago. It made Digger Phelps, it made Notre Dame basketball. Uh, it was the game that made us what we were. And uh, I think this is the toughest loss ever in Bill Walton's career. He and I still go at it about the game, about the moment. And that's healthy because uh, obviously he was one of the great players in college basketball. Anybody that could get me humming the Notre Dame fight song after we lost that game, how disappointing, how embarrassing. As Coach Wooden told us each and every day, don't beat yourself. Well, we beat ourselves and I've been struggling with that the rest of my life.